Now before we can create anything in here, we need to set the units that Blender will know to use and that will resemble the millimeters or inches in the real world. It is very important to set those. If you don't set them, Blender won't know how large or small your object is. And if you export it as a printable file, it might come out a lot too small or a lot too big. Therefore, on the right, click on the scene properties. And in this tab, you can set the units that you're going to use. Please choose the appropriate setting, either metric or imperial. If you use metric, please choose millimeter for the length unit and please set the unit scale at 0.001. This is one thousandth of a meter, which is one millimeter. When using imperial, please set the unit type to inch and set the unit scale to 0 0.083. Those units correlate to the size of your jewelry. If you would design something in a much larger scale, of course you would choose different units. But here, because we are going with jewelry, I think millimeters and inches make the most sense. At least for my kind of projects. Another useful thing is to make a grid so you will have a better sense of how big your objects are. Click the little icon up here, then click on floor and set the units here corresponding to your units. Here, for me, it's millimeters. Therefore, I also choose 0 0.001. If you have set the unit size accordingly before, you should now see a grid that corresponds to 10 times 10 millimeters, so one centimeter. Creating a cube here with Shift A and choosing cube. And right now it is a lot too big because it still corresponds to the old unit size that Blender started up with. It's 2000 millimeters, now it's 200, scale it down again, now it's 20 times 20, and I scale it again by half, now it's 10 times 10. You can then scale it again to 10% of its original size, and now you have a cube of 1 times 1 times 1 millimeter. You can also scale something by just pressing S and moving your mouse around. And this setting is now a good starting point for working with jewelry or anything in a similar size. To save all your hard work, you can click on File, Defaults and Save Startup File. This will keep all these settings for every time you open Blender in a new window and you will start with those. This is very, very handy. This clip was part of my guide from Skillshare, from Sketch to 3D printed jewelry. And I welcome you to check it out if you're interested in my workflow going from the rough idea over the sketch to creating your first 3D printable file. Link is in the description.